It's an old-fashioned Southwest Conference rivalry turned Big 12 event. You see the motion. And here goes on the stretch play and making his move, Savion Williams, who they will line up as a running back many times. They want to get second in. and threes, which is what they face right here. Again, they go Wildcat. Savion, look at that nimble footing. Spin, baby, spin, and take it in. There isn't a ton of space for Savion to get through, but somehow he finds his way through, and then he gets on a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, and it's a, a spin away from him and all the way to the end zone. His ability with the football in his hands is what the coaching staff. Another third down and nine. On third down, McAllister has become very reliable for Hoover. 88 is the number. And there's the pressure off the edge. An absolute sandwich that time where the Colonial is played. We do have mulligans in football, and this one's even worse. Off the side of his foot. Uh, I mean, I, I think You're I said right. it. I think you did. Nothing good happens yeah. on a re-kick, <laughs> and that is even worse than the kick before. I was about Looks like it's zero coverage. And it's a quick out. And it is taken by Mason Tharp, one of those tight ends. But Clark comes over, and now as the whistle blows, the contact continues. Gino Garcia will try from 38. He is 10 of 10 on field goal tries this year. Make it 11 of 11 between now and the end of the Yankees Dodgers series. Savion Williams wide open down the seam. He's got one on the ground. An angle, but no, he's got one in the air. It's a mismatch. This is a wide receiver on a linebacker he can't cover him he doesn't have a chance and he's right through the middle and once he catches it he's got that wide receiver speed all the way to the end zone career long i don't think there's any doubt when he's on the field he's the best athlete cam cook is coming to the game now in the backfield and pressure coming ball is on the ground texas tech might be in position to get it and they do and, and just watch him come off the edge and use his speed and then he karate chops the hands down to get after the quarterback a really nice job by him of getting those hands down bending flat and getting to the quarterback to get the ball out we talked about it early turning the ball over is a reason that tcu is not having the perfect season that they would want to have and there there's another turnover tcu gives the ball away burkhart oh it's a fake there he goes for the corner. Touchdown, Reese Burkhart. That's why they chose to take the three. A little something in Joey McGuire's hip pocket. Wow. How do you do? Oh, yeah, I was wondering when it was coming. I mean, if that's not a how do you do moment, I don't know what is. Play pick to Brooks. He's going for the home run hit down the sideline. It is caught. It is Douglas. And boy, did he drop this in the bucket. What an outstanding throw. And, and Carlos, he doesn't even leave sideline, but that ball drops in perfectly for a first down. Touchdown, Taj Brooks. His ninth of the season. You got the Red Raiders. Well, this thing parts like the Red Sea, and Todd Brooks just essentially almost walks right into the end zone. There's nobody there. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Savion Williams, Tom. Battle has joined him there, number 17. Savion takes it out of the Wildcat. They were ready that time. And Texas Tech's D, Tim DeRuder, will give them a salute when they get to the sidelines oh. after that. The way I misspoke earlier, he's not from Shreveport. He's out of Missouri City. That pass was tipped and intercepted. 
it happened again. Josh Hoover had it happen again. Tipped at the line of scrimmage and picked off. C.J. Baskerville has the interception. It was Rodriguez, number 10, that deflected it. Box to the left of your screen and just skies up with a great vertical and then catches it all hands. All hands. Uh. He's playing defensive back, and he makes this play. Outstanding job by Baskerville. Well, Josh Kelly was open, number three in white, but uh, number two's noggin got in the way. Douglas. Boy, he is hammered. Look at those guys in purple all arriving in a bad humor. This TCUD has really answered the bell. Hey, give it everything you got, and the rest of your teammates will help. Perfectly displayed right there. Burkhart from 50 yards. He's got the big leg, but this time it's wide and no good. And Morton was hurt, apparently, was injured at halftime. Left shoulder energy, a left shoulder injury. We were just told that, and Will Hammond is in at quarterback. Third down and three. You know they got to ride Brooks, right? They got to fake it to him, and he's going to carry it, and he does so for the first down. That's got to be a confidence boost for the young man out to the 41. Yeah. You're right. and again, he'll lean on Brooks this half, no doubt about it. There's a nice looking pattern, and how about that maneuver by Caleb Douglas? So now nice. you can get to what we love, the RPO. Safety's come down, and you got a ball, even though behind, a catchable ball for Caleb Douglas, and then an outstanding move. So Travis Broughton on that play. Well, the yards after the catch. So first and 10, and now they go with a fade pattern into the corner. It's caught. It's touchdown. Coy Aiken. Wow. Just like that. And I would say this prolific high schooler has announced to his team and everyone else. 8,000 plus yards in high school. And what a perfect throw. Cold off the bench. Oh, man. And the footwork by Aiken. Touchdown, Texas Tech. The freshman from Missouri City. He had a great drive that ended on downs when they were stopped. And he's going to try to loop one to him now. And it's another tip, and it's another interception. Boy, it's like a recurring nightmare for Hoover and Sonny Dykes. At midfield, ball was tipped by Dyson, Harvey Dyson, 33. Yeah, and Harvey Dyson's not going to get a stat on this, but how about him just fighting? And then number 25, Lewis, flying over the top, just making his way toward the play. And when you race to the football, good things happen. A good thing happened there for the defense. That's two interceptions on the day, three turnovers for TCU's offense. See, it's really impressive. Zach Kidley's got to be beaming right now with the way this young man's playing. On second and nine, quick pitch. It's Williams again. And he's the perfect compliment when you think about it. Oh, and look at him get up and show you. First down, let's keep on moving. Wait a minute. You got one-on-one -on -one at the bottom of your screen here. And he keeps it. It's a touchdown. How about this? The freshman. And I do mean freshman. Not many reps before having to come in to open this second half. Two brilliant drives. Getting it done with a touchdown to go with it. Yeah, watch him pull this ball and then get there and then underneath for a touchdown. I mean, so impressive what he's been able to do. All our Lux. And chuck it down to JP. There's Patterson with a great move. Oh, he's making Bucky proud. And headed right towards where Bucky and his family sits. Payne is in the backfield. And he's got it. Touchdown, Jeremy Payne. That last lunge got him in there. His second this season. And that the ruling on the field of a touchdown is under further review. All right, so everything's up right there. Nope, he's down. He's down before it gets to the goal line. Yeah. But the one thing that you have to remember, if there's not a straight down the line shot, I don't think they can reverse this, but they will be able to piece different film together. together. Yeah, it looks like he's clearly short. He's yeah. clear. After further review, the ruling on the field of a touchdown stands. Wow. What you have is the ability to hit the hole like, yeah. the, like the old school, like you really want them to. They don't always dance. They just dance when they have to. Oh, nice look throw. at that pass. I mean, a laser throw caught 
And taken down inside the 15 yard line. He's and on the sideline. Just moving out of the way. Not getting run over by a talented running back like Brooks. 24 yards for Garcia. And Gino remains perfect. Out of the shotgun. On second down, Hoover with plenty of time, lets it fly, it is caught, it's inside the 15, it is Jack Besh. The go-to, then Besh, safety comes out of the middle of the field, and Besh just sees green grass, and he turns on the Jets to run that football down in a perfect throw by quarterback Josh Hoover. 52 yards on that connection. Sonny told us it's what he does after the catch, which has separated him from the pack. And that's this. Rodriguez, a good tackler that missed him. Yes, it was. Hoover's pass, back shoulder, it's caught. It is touchdown, and it is Jack Besh. His eighth of the year. A little bit ago, he would get the opportunity, but they wait here, give him the one-on-one, -on -one, and it's just a fade route and a perfectly thrown back shoulder out to that third lane, away from the defender. Game-winning drive to beat Stanford, 34-27. The question is, can he do it again? Second and five, pressure up the gut. Looking for and finding a pair of eights. It's McAllister picking him up, putting him down. Touchdown, T-C-U. Foot four, 205 pound transfer from Boise State has been chomping at the bit to make a play. He goes on the goal route, a perfect back shoulder, and the rest is all him. He is striking out down the sideline for a touchdown. What are gonna do? Could be the game, may not be, but could be. Hammond under pressure. Markers down. We could have a false start as he's as he goes to the 40. I don't see a flag. I thought for a moment. Yeah. Hammond's going to keep it. A little quarterback counter, and he runs right into a roadblock. Hakeem Ojalaya. Hakeem Ojalaya. They're fighting as if the yeah. ball came out. Yeah, they are. And number 93 made a big hit. Boy, that is a mammoth hit oh, that he made. Did they get a recovery? Yes, goodness. they did. Team pound yeah, lineman. That's true. But There's but nothing wrong with this hit. It's a great hit, a legal hit. But the kind of powerful hit oh my right gosh. in the chest that is going to knock that and, ball free. And Hammond has great ball security. And, yep. and the thing is for me, Tim, I don't want to question Kitley's call no. to keep the ball in the young guy's hands. And the reason is he's played well. I'm with you. Remember, they picked up big yardage by putting they that did. ball in the hands of another freshman, Jacoby Williams, right? So they're playing the game the way they're playing it. And, and it's just, it's very unfortunate. He it spins is. back into a 320-pound yeah, man. The, review, the ball was fumbled, recovered by the defense. It's a 27-yard I'll be taking you directly to our World Series pregame. Through a commercial after this play, they're going to throw a little uh, soccer play at us. And it's going to end right here. But you got to get a tackle. Well, he's going to keep on throwing it. Now it's on the ground. And TCU secures the win. They move to five and three, two and two in the Big 12. Texas Tech to five and three, three and two in conference play.